This is a high school where one of the students has managed to misspell the word beautiful. Person is there and it disappears when something or someone passes by cliche. Hashtag never forget. Taking a selfie in portrait mode. No, no, mom, it's just, it's a stupid school email. Irony. Yeah, of course. You're still on the old media, huh? Ah, uh, it's so much better. Because things and reasons. It's like asking Han Solo how is space. Wow, you're an actual nerd, aren't you? If that makes him a geek, then you can include myself, my wife, and oh, I don't know, probably about 30% of the world's f***ing population. Starts cutting it open from roughly the middle of the box, but when the camera shifts, the box is now cut the entire way across the top. It's, uh, uh, it's nothing. It's for history class. Cassettes are history now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course they are. Can I listen? Why would you want to listen to something he's clearly described as being for history class? What would be the sense in that? Are you going to cheat and help him? Are you going to take the tape and listen to it yourself just because? Or are you being that nosy? Any of the options equal the comment being quite sinful regardless. Something wrong with her? Not wrong yet. It's called taking care of things. If there's nothing wrong with it, then the fact that part of the engine is removed and various tools are present makes no sense. I don't think so. I know you should do that. That's why I'm showing you this. I should probably get out of here. You sure you don't want to stay for dinner? Not asking your best friend if you can simply borrow his tape player when there are any number of reasons why this would come across as a perfectly innocent request. She leave a note? Go kill herself. I... I don't know. Why would you listen to me? If you would do something like that to your mother, I would kill you. You understand me? Talking to his son like this is incredibly confusing because he never said a word even slightly related to ever doing that to himself. In short, the father really needs to chill out here. It's not supposed to be easy or I would have emailed you an MP3. When you're done listening to all 13 sides, because there are 13 sides to every story. When Hannah first started recording these tapes, it's revealed during episode 12 that she had only intended on creating 12 tapes. It was only later on that she decided to record the conversation with the school counsellor, creating a 13th tape. But by then, she had already created the first. Do not take me for granted. Not again. I never did! It's understandable to be flustered, but being flustered doesn't usually involve losing all sense of direction. I'll get the first aid kit. No, I, I don't need first aid. You are bleeding, you need ointment. Please don't say ointment. Years later, the word ointment would be considered by many to be either uncool or gross. <laughs> Justin is a complete high school experience. Don't be jealous, Clay. You'll fill out. Someday. Maybe. Even though Justin clearly has the body of a 14 year old. Settle in. Today we're discussing ways to navigate difficult interactions. Uh, people, please, at least a nod in the direction of our no devices rule. TV show tells us that every single person in this class had their phone on loud, despite the teacher already making it clear that there's a no devices rule. I don't think you're socially awkward at all. I think you're just scared. I think you're waiting. You know, sometimes it's better to wait. This comment always annoyed me. I mean, he's friends with a girl. He likes her, but they're still just friends at this point in time. So for him to act almost aggressively at a friend having an unfortunate picture of her underwear posted around seems incredibly uncalled for, given what we know of his character throughout the entire show. Oh. We are? Are you awake? Are you alive? Yeah, I'm alive. Oh, door closed. Hiding a tape player like he's got porn out on his bed. Managing to confuse these two extremely different cars. Although, yes, they're both red. I stopped taking these two years ago. Dr. Elman said you could have them available if needed. They're not. And they're probably, like, expired anyway. It's a new prescription. Parent of the year decided to go to the doctor to get pills for her son that she didn't even know if he needed in the first place. 
Also, isn't that kind of weird for a doctor to prescribe pills for someone going purely off of the word of someone else? I think there might have been a more subtle way to introduce the idea. He's keeping secrets. Assumptions. But remember, it's not a game. Not at all. Hey, skinny kid. Close practice, out. Skinnyism. Probably just skipping first. Sleeping in. Did he ride with you guys today? He puts forth the idea that maybe he's sleeping in, and the next question is, did he ride in with you? No. Maybe he's fucking sleeping in like I literally just said. Why are you smiling? Why shouldn't I smile? No, I mean, you should. I was just asking if there was like an immediate recent cause or something. You literally can manufacture an existential crisis out of thin air. Except for the fact that an existential crisis is when someone questions their entire life and being on this earth, and not when someone asks, is there a cause as to why you're smiling right now at this point in time? He's checking you out. He's checking you out. No, you, and he's cute. He's alone. So? So that means he doesn't have any friends. That's weird. No, what's weird is making a complete assumption about someone's friendships based purely off of a single moment of being alone and clearly reading. Do you think I could ever be as pretty as Jessica Davis? Great. Thanks. Got it. Well, it's how you socialize. I keep thinking you're some different kind of male. Clearly there's no such thing. So in short, she was after someone to lie to her. Because that's a fantastic quality in a man. Also, all men are the same cliché. Here you go. Enjoy your movie. Please let us know if there's anything we can do to make your visit more pleasant. Jessica reacts to that comment in this way despite being the one who made the entire conversation utterly unbearably awkward by hardly replying to Hannah's comments in the first place. Doesn't this affect you at all? And yeah, more than I can tell you. Why can't you tell me? Because then we wouldn't have 11 more episodes. So did Clay manage to catch up to him on his bike? Because he had a really good head start where he took off in his car and Clay was left simply standing in the road. Yet they both appear to have arrived at the house at the same time. This also leads me to ask the question, how did Clay even know where he was headed in the first place? I believe you still have a few drink selections left on your great menu journey. You were so committed once. Yeah, commitment's hard for Alex. Yeah, well, at least I have the ability to try something new in life. People that feel the need to air their dirty laundry in public. Not so cool. Seriously, Tyler? If you're going to do a memorial, I'm going to take pictures. True, but taking pictures while she's looking at you and also saying seriously doesn't make for the best picture in the first place, does it, genius? All these people were Hannah's friends. Mm -hmm. Anyone who knew Hannah would know that she hated roses. She thought they were cliche. Because that's the first question people ask each other, especially guys. Hey, you work here now? You drink coffee now? Yeah. I mean, I just sort of started. Look at our little clay all grown up. Referring to someone as little as though they're younger when they're the same age. Also, I have tattoos and wear heavy makeup doesn't equal I have more world experience than you and doesn't make you edgy. It just makes you look like a twat. So do you want one now? Oh, right. Uh, a small drip, please. Black. Okay, macho. Is a dumbass comment to make. Clay and I are pretty close. And it's just not something he would do. Hmm. Can you think of anyone else who might have wanted to act out like that? Anyone else? What has Clay done in the past few episodes that might indicate that he'd act out by tearing down posters? This comment never made sense to me. Aren't you desperate to hear yours, though? I'm afraid to. Well, he should be. Well, he shouldn't be, because it doesn't really paint him in a bad light whatsoever. It just sadly means he was the final straw on the metaphorical camel's back. But the truth is, is that I did. I killed Hannah Baker. And Justin killed Hannah Baker. And Jessica. And you. We all killed Hannah Baker. Except that Clay didn't really.
Tony never notices a clearly visible and drunk Clay riding pretty damn close behind his car in a seemingly deserted and widely open area. Look at our little Clay all grown up. <laughs> 